Welcome to tutorial number 340, GHS Output Control. This tutorial focuses on condition graphics specifically. So in this tutorial we are going to cover uh, what is condition graphics and how can you use that to control the different views, uh, the positions of the views, and then a few specific options for condition graphics. But before we get going, a quick disclaimer. This presentation is for instruction only. It is not to be used in engineering for construction, and I'm not a representative of Creative Systems. These are unofficial training videos only, merely meant to be helpful tutorials. To get the official training, contact Creative Systems. Uh, their contact information is listed at the bottom of the screen. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's very useful and very educational. Okay, so now what is condition graphics? Uh, first off, you have to know you may not have condition graphics. Uh, when you buy GHS, there is the core package of GHS that you buy, but then there are also several optional add-on modules. Uh, one of them is condition graphics. I really, really recommend that you get this add-on module, uh, because what condition graphics does is it creates images of the vessel in the current loading condition. So uh, this is really useful for both checking your own work and then also um, getting a sensibility check on things. You know, say for example, you were to, oh, I don't know, put a load uh, right on the deck edge, or you're checking, say, for a tug, a uh, healing moment due to crane, and you see the tug, you know, the text output will tell you the values of the tug's current condition. You know, it will tell you that the tug has healed over 37 degrees, and when you just see a number, it's hard to understand the implications of that number. But when you see a picture showing that this tug has got just a few inches between the deck house and the water line, uh, you know, suddenly it clicks a lot faster. And condition graphics is also useful for showing that kind of interpretation to the clients. So what does it show, actually? Um, it will show you your tanks. It will show you the current draft of the vessel. It will show you flooded tanks. Um, and all of that is in the current condition of the vessel. You know, shows the current loads of all the tanks, shows the current draft and trim of the vessel. As I said, for damage stability, even if you're showing uh, different tanks damaged, uh, this is really, really easy. For example, uh, if you want to show what are your damage conditions, you know, what are the different combinations of tanks that you're flooding, well, you could spend three days uh, drawing that up in AutoCAD with lots of little fancy drawings and hatching in every single area. Or you could do it in five minutes with condition graphics. So it's a, a really big time saver that way. And all of this information from condition graphics, you can have it displayed either in the reports or in a separate window. So it can be a real-time feedback or it can be something that you can then feed into formal analysis reports. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, both how to use it and then also some control options over it. So uh, first off, what is the basic command? Uh, the basic command is display, and then the list of your parts, and then status. And status here is the key word. If you just do display, and then your parts names, uh, that's something that's already built into normal GHS. That will show you the state of the hull, but it won't include anything like what tanks are full or what the water line is. The status command, display status, is when you suddenly kick in condition graphics and when you need the extra module. So that little command right there is a big thing. Um, and if you just want to display everything in the ship, uh, just put a star in here and it displays all of that. But that's not where it ends. There's a lot of options that you can use to control uh, the angles that you view the ship from. You know, view ships, uh, they're oriented in three dimensions. They have trim, they have heel, and so it's kind of hard to understand how all of that interacts from only one angle. So you can view it from three separate angles if you want. You can have a plan view, which is on the z-axis looking down onto the xy plane. Uh, you can have a profile view, that's a side profile, uh, that's looking onto the uh, xz plane. And then you can have body views, 
uh, those are section views looking on the YZ plane. And here's the really neat part. You can combine multiple views. So condition graphics can show multiple views at the same time. And you can control which parts you want to see, which parts you don't want to see. Now, how do you separate those? Uh, you separate those with commas. Now, here's a bit of tricky formatting with condition graphics, so pay careful attention with this. Um, each view angle gets separated with a comma. And these are the key words for each view. So plan, profile, and body. You separate those keywords with a comma. So each angle is separated with a comma. You can see here the display star. We're telling it to display all of the parts. So keep that comma in mind. Because now we're going to talk about view positions. Uh, this is mostly something you use for the body view. Um, I've seen it used in some other ways as well, but this is really useful for showing in body view, uh, specifically to show the state of current tanks. You need to show which ones are half full, all full, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and so for a, a, cert, a single angle, you can show it at multiple positions along the way. You can show multiple section cuts. And the catch is the positions you separate with spaces, not with commas. And there's no real limit on how many positions you show. But notice here, here's how the uh, command works out. So we've got display, the status command, the body, that's my angle, the at symbol, and then this is my position along the ship. And notice I now have a space and another position, another space, another position. Okay, now I'm done with the body angle. So comma, comma tells GHS I'm going to a new view angle, and then the plan view. So keep that in mind for the formatting, otherwise GHS will get very confused. It's view angles get separated with commas. View positions get separated with spaces, and you note them with the at symbol. And when you do it, this is the kind of thing that gets printed out. So this command right here, the status, three different body views, and one plan view, produces this kind of an output in condition graphics. And you don't even have to worry about positioning the, the views at all um, or stacking them up like that. GHS handles all of that for you. And this is the detail that you can get out of condition graphics. So notice we're showing the shape of our ship right here. Uh, we're showing the shape of our ship in each of the section views. We're also showing our water. Uh, so you can see here where the ship sits on the water line. And you can see how full each tank is. So it's a very quick way to easily summarize up your current vessel status. Okay, now there are a few neat little options that you need to know about for uh, condition graphics. <clears throat> My best advice for you for all of the options for condition graphics is check the help file. Uh, there's a lot of different combinations you can use in this one little command. So this is a command you should spend a lot of effort learning. Get to know it like the back of your hand. Get very familiar with all of the options. Two options I want to show you specifically. The first option is the yes empty option. And that, that that's the option, uh, forward slash yes empty. All is one word. And what that does is when it writes out the output, it will show all of the tanks. So it's a little hard to see in this graph here, but you can see, for example, this aft section of the ship. It's not showing any tanks back here because the tanks are all empty back there. So it it's trying to avoid cluttering up the space, and so it's not showing empty empty tanks. But you can tell it, show it, yes, I do want it to show all of the tanks, even if they are empty. That's really useful, for example. Uh, say you wanted to create a tank capacity plan. Uh, you normally need to create some sort of a simple graphic view uh, to show the operators where all the tanks are on the ship. Again, you could spend days in AutoCAD doing that, 
or you could tell GHS just to print it out in five minutes. So yes, empty. Definitely recommend it. The next option I want you to look at is a uh, page percent. And what that does is that will scale down the condition graphics to fit into a smaller area on the page. Uh, so it's uh, the command, the option itself is page percent with the actual percent side, colon, and then the value of the percentage that you want. So that's going to be from 0 to 100. So that's a little counterintuitive. The, uh, the percent comes before the number. And then you've got the colon sign. But that's how they have it written. Uh, that's really useful, for example, uh, in all the different loading conditions for stability analysis. Typically what we like to do is in each condition show a, a quick status display, you know, showing what are all the tanks right now, um, what is the vessel resting at, and it's really useful at that point to use condition graphics to print out like a quick profile and plan view uh, to very simply show what the vessel looks like right now. But maybe you don't want that to take up the whole page because you, you don't want it to be a detailed thing. So you can use page percent to scale it down. Okay. Uh, as always, the best way to learn all of this stuff is to practice with it, to try new things. So homework number 341, nothing specific, just try some different examples of printing things out in condition graphics. See, you know, can you notice the different parts of the tanks? Can you see tanks at different levels? Uh, can you capture flooded tanks? Can you see the heel of the vessel? All of that information is really nice. Right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video inform informational. Uh, you can find the homework with an example solution, uh, plus several other videos like this on dmsonline.us. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.